DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is presented by DSC, Conservation, Education, and Protecting Hunter's Rights. Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Trijicon, brilliant aiming solutions. Wildlife systems, serving hunters and landowners since 1987. Beautiful fish. What do you think of that? Beauty. Grab him under the belly. Australia. Fishing. Yeah. Look at the mass. You got bigger ones. No, that's the record one there. That is a really nice bull. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, he looks, I mean, look how much wide he goes out this way. Amazing. Thank you. So what we're going to do uh, this morning, mate, is we're going to walk into these uh, freshwater springs. Yeah. All the animals go to them this time of day. Yeah. You know. So there's an old burn in here, about two weeks old. So we should, with the moisture we've been getting, there should be some fresh regrowth. So it's just worth the try. And I mean, there, there could be pigs, there could be uh, bantang, buffalo, could be a buffalo. Yeah. and you're seeing that they don't like going on the road. No. You know, no. and but we see sign that they're coming at night, yeah. but these things are very nocturnal. Everyone we've seen on the road, they're already, oh, it's the tail end you see. Going so we're going to them now, they feed into the water, they, they, they drink, and then they go and sit on a high ridge, well, you know, a raised ridge, yeah. and in the shade for the rest of the day till tonight. So we're going into where they're bedding down. Do so this is a little bit different. This is going to be a jungle hunt, yeah. looking on the burns, it could yeah. get a little excited. I'll follow you. grass are hard to see because yeah. they blend in in the shadows. They're always sitting in the shade. Makes it pretty tense. It's pretty cool. Isn't it? <laughs> I mean, they're, that makes it they're tense. a jungle little yeah, forest yeah, animal. Yeah. You know, they're not an open area. No, they're not a savanna animal like no, other no, buffalo no. species. And you just got to walk sometimes. Yeah. And we're looking for animals you'll never see on the road, ever. Yeah. <laughs> Very similar to hunting dwarf buffalo like in the Congo or yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameroon. This segment of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is brought to you by Double Nickel Taxidermy. It's a pretty good sized swamp. Pretty cool, eh? 
He wouldn't see a buffalo if he was out there. Hey? You wouldn't see him if he was no, out there. They'll sit right in the middle of it. Yeah. He's just changing the colour, eh? species, they're two big game species in the Northern Territories and they're feeding here. He's, he's old and he's heavy, he's not super long, he's, he's an average bull. It's your call. These guys here, like, he'll be 18, 20 years old. They get incredibly old. There's, there's good feed and water here, so they get, you know, he would have left cows out on the coastline years ago, coming here. This is like the retirement home here. So you don't want to go out in the open. A stallion could get pretty cheeky though. Mm -hmm. If you had some mares. They're little, they're not very big. Kind of Welsh pony sized. They're truly wild. Which could blow it for us, but that right there is super fresh buffalo. It's still super, super soft. Buffalo dog. This segment of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is brought to you by Ripcord Rescue Travel Insurance. We got your back. Hi, I'm Greg Simons with Wildlife Systems. I have people on a fairly regular basis ask me, what can I do as a hunter or as a wildlife enthusiast? What can I do to make a bigger difference for hunting for the resource? And the answer is really pretty simple. We have a number of different sportsman's groups out there that are easy to get plugged into. 
where that person's money or their time can be leveraged in a bigger way as opposed to going at it alone. Many of these groups spend money on natural resource literacy programs and school systems and other public settings, public policy efforts, youth hunting programs, groups like the Dallas Safari Club, Texas Wildlife Association, and then there's many others. These are great uh, groups to be able to get involved with, have some fun with other like-minded groups, and leverage your time and effort to be able to make a difference. Spring water's flowing, it's actually flowing here. It's clear. It's all good, don't you know, right? Okay. Yeah. wall the other day and there was no buffalo tracks in it. It looks like there are tracks in it down on the other side. About another half a kilometer up down this burn is where we saw buffalo two days ago. I'm hoping that those two bantang bulls that we just bumped didn't, uh, didn't mess up our opportunity. DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is also brought to you by Sitka. Kennetrek, boots for the trail less traveled. 
Lino gear, binocular accessories you've got to have. MB Ranch King blinds, built in pursuit of perfection. Double nickel taxidermy, and by Ripcord Rescue Travel Insurance. We got your back. Watch out, come this way guys. Far as buffalo, <laughs> man. <laughs> wow. We did it. We got a four leaf clover somewhere <laughs> carrying with us. We got a needle in the haystack. What a time on Coburg Peninsula. We found them. I had to shoot him right then. No, you had to. The wind, you could see the wind was changing and he was just catching our wind, eh? And when he runs, you can see it's hard to shoot through here. That's a beauty. Look how far he comes back. <laughs> That's a solid ball, mate. Look at, that. Look at the bases on this thing. Oh, fantastic. Oh, big old ball, man. I mean, for these buffalo, he's probably 16, you know, which is yeah, old. But which is old. Well, they live to be in their 20s, you said. Man, said. these things get in their 20s, so. Skin like leather. I the, mean. The, but these forest buffalo, mate, they've got hair on them. 
You get yeah. out into those floodplains. And they don't have much hair on No, because they wallow a lot. Whereas yeah. these guys are different, you know. They're not wallowing as much, and it's a lot of clean, cleaner sort of water, you know, without mud. Is no. it, man? Hey, Jim, I awesome. appreciate it, man. Yeah. I can't thank you enough. This is fantastic. Trail on the Hunter's Moon is in Australia. And we just took two species that I have long dreamed about hunting and two excellent representatives. A total world of opportunity for the sportsmen, for both fishermen, hunters, and those that just want to seek adventure. Mm -hmm. The Coburg Peninsula is just spectacular.